Skatosis episode number 168 is brought to you by Old Dude Skate Co. OldDudeSkateCo.com for shirts and stickers. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Skatosis. I'm your host, Drew Domkus. I'm Aramachi. And Skatosis. Man, you got me all confused now. I was waiting for the pro. <laughs> <laughs> you, yo, you're throwing me off every week now. That's, oh, man. That's it's funny because I was going to do it. And then last second, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I got to like not listen to what you say now. But then <laughs> if it's a pro. I was like, okay, you know that word association <laughs> game? Yes. Where you say, you say a word? Yeah. So Joe was doing that with me yesterday. And I thought I was going to guess what word she was going to say. Yeah. So when she said the word, my brain was already like stuck on that. Right. So she like said something and I'm like, clone. I'm like, wait, I thought that's the word I thought you were going to say. <laughs> like it had nothing to do with the thing she was saying. <laughs> right. Preemptively guessing. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. because now- like, I just need to clear my mind. <laughs> because if you say a good pro's name, I have to come up with something quick, but now I'm yeah. getting- now I'm getting thrown off. You're screwing this whole show up. All right, start over. All right, all right, next week. The condition of being, oh, <laughs> the skatosis is the condition of being consumed and obsessed with all skateboarding pros, apparently. Uh, pros, ams, flow. Everything. Gr- yeah. uh, groms, minions. Groms, uh, mi- yeah, sure. Newbies. You, you don't hear that term groms a lot anymore. No, I kind of like that, that you don't hear it that often. You didn't like that one? No, I never really did. Yeah. It's like it kinda a kind of sounded demeaning. It does sound demeaning. It's like a yeah. it's like a short for grommet, right? Like the thing that you put on a tarp to hold I don't know, it seems it definitely seems demeaning. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's based off a of grommet, but I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that's based off of. I guess that would make sense. I don't know. We've we've tackled all kinds of weird words in this uh podcast. Remember when we <laughs> talked about focus so long ago? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. that's interesting because we like. I just figured that out like in the last couple of years. Well, I think we talked about it that day on the show way back when, but I don't know. It didn't really, um, it didn't really spark up too much conversation. I don't know if anybody even still knows what it stands for. I hear people call. I see. I hear people say it. I heard somebody say it on a man. Was it a snowboard or somebody said focus in like non skateboarding terms? And I was like, really? That was kind of weird. Like, like focusing the board or yeah. just like focusing? No, no, no. Like they were going to break it. Oh. Yeah, I think it was, but it wasn't a skateboard thing. It was something different. I was like, I don't know if that translates, does it? Yeah. I guess. Can you break a, you can't break a snowboard like that. I'm sure you could do something to it. Chip it, maybe. <laughs> do the wecking like ball. in half with a saw. Yeah, like wecking ball smacks him on the trash can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess you could do that with a snowboard. Yeah. Or if you, like, put a snowboard up, at like, you know that thing where you get to, well, you don't, because you never focus boards. Right. Where you get to a point where it doesn't break, and you put it, like, up against the stairs. Right, right, right. Yeah, you, but. You, like, it against the stairs and, like, smack it. Snowboards are flexible, though. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that would break. Hmm. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that is a little weird. But now I'm trying to think, man, what was it? I don't know if it was a snowboard. I don't think that would make much sense, but I remember it not really relating to skateboarding. Else, I don't know what else it could be. Like, you wouldn't focus your bike. <laughs> right. I mean, you could try, but damn, that thing would just you bounce in try. your face. It hurt so bad. <laughs> Were you there? I can't. Maybe it was a session where it was just me and Ty. Were you there um, where a guy, like, he went up on that blue thing um, that, like, at Oshkosh Park that, mm-hmm. like, bank to bank with the mani pad on it? Uh-huh. He, like, went up on that and got, like, hung in his front bars and, like, went over. Oh, on a bike? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't yeah, that I mean, there. I think that was, like, uh, last week or two weeks ago when I was there with Ty. And he just, like, and it's, like, it's one of the biker dudes that, like, is friendly with us. Sure. That, like, we know. And, he, dude, he slammed. He rolled past us. He's, like, dude, I'm going home. Dude, that's he a. Just, like, done. <laughs> that's a serious drop, especially tangled up in a bike. Yeah, dude, it it looked like it sucked. 
Oh. He 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 went like straight to like elbows. Yeah. And he's like, I'm I'm going home. Uh, I'm so into this. Yikes! Shout out to Ty. Thanks for the hat, buddy. Santa Cruz. To yeah, all. hell yeah! Shout out Ty. He gave me a shirt too. Nice. I don't know if he listens, but shout out. I think he's on the message board, isn't he? I'm not sure. Dude, speaking of Santa Cruz, uh, did you see, uh, what was it, Elliot Sloan is like episode three with all kinds of dudes skating his ramp and they get Eric Winkowski doing like the, the tallest ho-ho. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so awesome. It's such a sick team. I'm so sick you got that hat. Yeah, that's great. That, te- that team has turned into like, even within like the amount of time we've done the podcast, it's turned into like such an early team. Oh man, powerhouse. Yeah. I think we even talked about it last week that like it happened so quick with like the people they picked up. Yeah, it's maturing and, very well. And Fabiano's on there. Yeah, she kicks ass. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I want to skate like her. Yeah, yeah, I, w- I don't want to slam like her, though. <laughs> no, I don't want to slam either. She takes slam. <laughs> yeah, she does, and she doesn't wear any pads. She's a hardcore. Maybe, yeah, maybe I do want to slam like her, because she can just get right back up. Yeah. She's, like, chill with it. Well, I don't know. That would suck. <laughs> yeah, it sucks to slam. <laughs> and speaking of slamming, I got smoked at Cream City this past weekend. Yeah, you did twice, didn't you? Twice. And I didn't get either of them on film, or else I no. would, or else I would have been like having those on loop. I'm I'm so glad though because the one I mean I kind of wish you got the one where I pre mode on the box. Yeah. But then the one we like I ate shit, and then the one we filmed I landed first try. So I'm gl- I'm glad it went that way. Right. Yeah. That. I mean, that's always the best when you can come right back from a slam and just like. Like shove it in the slam's face. <laughs> it's like I'm yeah. done. <laughs> yes, you like you win the battle. Right, exactly. So yeah, man, we, uh, you and I, finally got to skate Cream City together. It's first time with us being there together since May, right? Yeah, since your birthday. Uh, since March. I mean March. That's what I meant. March. Uh, uh, I don't know. Was it actually on your birthday on the third? I think it was the first. Yeah, but so what is that? March, April, May, June, July. Four months. It's been. Yeah. I've been there a couple this times since, but dude, it was so awesome for us to show up and there was only eight people booked up for our session. Eight and people booked up, but I think we were in there with like four people. Maybe four, four or five. People. But uh Trayton brought his son Emery, who hardly rode at all. And so yeah, I mean he that kind of just ran around. But I mean that's one of the eight. So I mean there was hardly anybody there. That was like a private session, pretty much. Yeah, it definitely felt like that. Such a good time, man. And so I've been going through clips, and hopefully you're watching some of them right now. But uh, my goodness, there was a we got a bunch of stuff done. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of. I just felt like I was smiling the whole session. I was too, man. And I, I I went to my knees a couple times, and like I feel awesome today. Like I don't really feel any soreness in my knee. One one of them like gave me a little bit of a ringer, but then I got right back up and I kept skating. So I mean, my knee I think is pretty much back in shape, which is awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's so sick. But so I think I think my knee is just still like I was able to like do all those things right. uh, Sunday, but I think it's just still like weak. Yeah, I think it's just not where because the right knee feels totally normal. Well, that's good. And the left knee just feels like a like I don't even think it's like hurting. It's just like not there yet. Right. Which is kind of annoying because I like I just want to go, but I want to like film a bunch of street and like just get right back into it but man you don't want to just like i mean you could easily throw it out of whack if you're not careful for for sure yeah for sure especially like because i remember even thinking at cream on that option island Mm -hmm. that that other dude that was skating with us he went like up top and like ollied off it yeah and I thought about rolling up and like 180ing over the steep bank. Sure. But even that, I'm just like, I don't, I don't even know like what that impact is going to feel like. Right. Yeah, that'd be pretty big. That would suck to just crush your like whole day. <laughs> yeah, and like, I guess I'm just nervous about like that impact. Like, is that just going to like, is it is it just going to like blow out? Well, you need to do like Jaws. The way he practices, just jump off things, you know, slowly jump off of yeah. one stair, jump off of two stairs, jump off. Of, you know what I mean? See what you see, how much you can take without feeling anything. 
that, yeah, for that, sure. You know, and, and there's a you know there's a few things that I came off of at like the box there. Mm-hmm. There's a few things I came off of that are fine, but like definitely. Go- I remember like talking about filming for this year, like doing something for the end of the year. Yeah, I wanted to do like Ollie a stair set. Okay, and now that's kind of like I might just be done with stairs altogether. <laughs> Good. Welcome to my club. <laughs> I never I never got into them to get out of it. Yeah, you, yeah, you never got out of it. Right. I only went to eight, but like for some reason this year before this injury, I was think I'm like I want to ollie a ten. I'm not I sure. Get a ten under my belt and then be done. Yeah, ten ten is a lot. I don't think I've even done a four. I know I've done three, a couple of threes. You haven't done a four. What about that that Beaver Dam? You did the one in Ashkash. Which one is that? Which is a, kind of a smaller four, but it is a four. Oh, is it really? Okay. Well, then I've done a four. There we go. <laughs> right? You've gone. You've ollied that. Where? Which stairs are you talking about? The ones that the, uh, along the Manny Pad and Bank and option that Option Island. Yeah, that option I'm yeah. on the other side of that. I don't know if I've gone that way. I've ollied off the other way, like the loading dock side, but I don't think I've cleared the stairs. Oh, maybe you haven't done a four then. No, I think three would be my limit. That's probably like at that uh, Beaver Dam police station. Yeah, yeah, or, I would think so. Or we did that one, uh, there was a spot in Appleton that had a little three stair. Appleton or Oshkosh, uh, near, the, near the college. Hmm. There was that one spot. It leads to a downhill into like a little grassy intersection, but there was a little three stair next to what you guys were skating that I remember hitting. Do you remember who was on that session? Uh, I believe Hunter and possibly Rips. I'd have to go back. Mm. I, yeah, I'd have to go back and see where we use it. But whatever the case, I mean, nothing to go research. Maybe a three stair. <laughs> <laughs> it's still just a three. Yeah, exactly. And then nothing to. Nothing to uh, highlight, except yeah. for me. For me as an old dude, progressing, I'll highlight it for myself. But I wouldn't be like, "Oh my gosh, did you guys see that?" <laughs> yeah, That's and a, I think I think you even in Boy City, didn't you like do that as a joke? Didn't you slow mo that ollie? I probably did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think you slow mo that ollie to be like, "Check out this three stair." That's right, dude. Oh. Three hey, stairs. That was ex- that was I exciting got- to me. Cause I would, yeah, that's I, super cool. It felt like a, such a big deal, but I figure I could do that quite easily now. So maybe, yeah. maybe a four stairs in my future. I would think so. I would. Th- so now, so now I'm leaving stairs. You're gonna start yeah, hitting. Now them. I'll start hitting them. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get ollieing a ten before me. Well, so here's the thing. Cream City was so empty that I kind of figured we'd do a lot of follow, you know, fisheye follow stuff, which we did. Um, but by the end of the day. It was only like really good four, maybe five, like really good clips on the fisheye. And so I kind of didn't think that we got a whole lot. But then, man, I come home to the tripod, you know, memory card and it's just so full of stuff. And it was like so it was exciting to watch it all again. Like, oh, that's right. That was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. I was doing. Yeah, I totally. It was funny. I totally forgot about the session. Like Like, that night, like doubles on the option island when I did the rock and roll and you did the ollie up to the ledge and then off. I forgot about that. Yeah, that came out good. And, oh, what's and, up? Uh oh, you good? Yeah. You good? Oh yeah. I thought somebody came in your room. Oh no. No, you went out. When you like stopped for a second, the whole thing went out. Oh weird. No, it's all clear over here. Alright. But Red um, Bull, you good? What's that? Red Bull Red, Red Bull, you good. Red Bull, you good. Yeah, I was like, what'd you say? I was like, you good? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that's what you said, but I was like, huh? <laughs> they just had this isn't Sheck- it, it, isn't it weird with that that they release those ex- they release Ryan Sheckler's extra as like a bit like a premiere yeah I did I saw that well because it originally came out on the Red Bull channel um, not on their not on their YouTube channels like other on like Red Tube TV so I think it being on YouTube is kind of a big deal but they put out it's just weird that like Sheckler because all the other dudes they just like put out the extras right away, mm. like Zion and Alex. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, everybody's got a different, you know, method to how they post stuff, and it could be some A/B testing, you know, like what worked better. Yeah, Ryan's probably getting paid the most. So that's probably what it was. Yeah, probably. We're gonna re- we're gonna premiere the, and, and I mean, he's still so gnarly. Oh, that whole part was. I mean, the extras, the the you know, the rough cut was pretty amazing. Yeah. That guy, he skate. He's just a little Danny Way. The way, the, like, he's a little adult Danny Way. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, a little adult Danny Way. 
because <laughs> Danny Way didn't skate the way he does when he was a kid, like, and he didn't look as big and buff and sculpted. So like, but yeah. Sheckler's got that look down. Did you see uh, X Games did like a piece on him? They did like a being for Danny Way for Ryan Sheckler. Oh no, I don't think I saw that. Oh yeah, because it, it's I, funny you're saying this. Yeah, because a lot of that is Danny Way talking about like uh, really <laughs> him noticing Ryan Sheckler and being like this dude, this like when he was like I think he was like eight or something. And oh. He's like this dude is good. Yeah, well, yeah, man, Sheckler's been good since he was a little kid. Yeah, so that and they it's funny they did do Danny Way too in that X Games being, mm-hmm. but they yeah they just released the Ryan Sheckler one and. Yeah, it's re- really good. Just talking about like showing him skating really young. No, that's cool. I just saw one for Lizzie Armanto. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good one too. Yeah, that's rad. <laughs> but damn. So yeah, I, I don't like know. Do you want to? I don't. Have you seen it all? The X Games they're doing. Um, twenty five years. It's been like twenty five years with them. So they're putting out pieces of like, like best skateboarding clips of like 25 years oh nice i haven't seen any of those but man there's got to be good ones in there yeah i'm just like so i guess maybe just because i watched the ryan sheckler thing like back to back Mm -hmm. and then i was like it's a lot of ryan sheckler yeah a lot of uh sean white like oh i've seen all of this already (laughs) right they're just repurposing all the content because there's nothing else going on there is no x games yeah yeah, basically (laughs) they just need to do they it's need- we it's because like everything's like canceled whatever yeah but it's like like grizzly grid tape this is like their 10th year x games it's their 25th year it like all of these anniversaries fall on this year what a bummer yeah it's just like gnarly that it they just need to do, um they just need to open up a uh, real street again and just do that like twice this year you know just because yeah. like People, yeah, I'd be down. Yeah, right. I mean, just two dudes out in the street keeping themselves busy, out of you know social distancing and getting clips. Yeah, but, just make just make that. I mean, I guess there's like, I guess you kind there's kind of like two different people, like people that are into the real street. I mean, we're into both, but like right. people that are into real street and like maybe some people that are more into the contest. Dude, we should do a real park. You know, like just get a couple guys at a park that's closed down or reserve it, you know, rent out a park. Yeah. I mean, you and me, we'll take anything. Yeah, anything, man. If I'm any, still straight up. If any filmers want to just send us rough cuts, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll watch. We'll watch it all. Well, I'm like, awful, I, I don't go back to work forever. Ever. So give yeah. me anything, I'll watch it. Well, I liked your idea. I don't know if we talked about it on the show, but last time I think we were together, you you had mentioned uh, King of the Road, but just other brands. Like not just their board brand, but like wheels. So like you would say, yeah, I think I was saying wheels. Spitfire against OJ against Bones. I think that was your example. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, I, I mean, I just want any kind of King of the Road, and that would For be sure. a great idea. But you know what's kind of funny now is that as I'm watching other video clips, like I, you know, you were late today, but it was perfect because that let me finish watching that Ruka video because it's thirty, oh, yeah. it's 30 minutes. Well, um, what's it called? The uh, opposites of our balance of opposites. I think. Yes, yeah, that's it. Um, so so I finished watching that, but as soon as it was done, I was like, mm, oh man, Ruka couldn't cut on King of the Road. <laughs> oh, it, I think so, dude. I don't you know. So? No, not compared to some other. I mean, some of the crazy beastie stuff going on that would seem like a pretty mellow squad. I mean, oh, sure, yeah, yeah, Suchu's you got tech. Mark and oh, Reynolds. Hey, I'm not saying that they don't have technical stuff or like some things are going to go big, but they don't have like. The harsh King of the Road, Nija, Jaws, you know, you know what I'm saying? I just think yeah, those those guys, right? So and it, it's funny, like we talked about it off air, uh huh. And then Scott posted, I know, I know. The, That's what I left, like, like saying, like, oh, wouldn't it be sh- wouldn't it be cool if they did like different brands? Yeah, I, I commented on him after like saying that you had mentioned we, they would do wheels or some other like some other yeah. type so yeah i think so i mean commented i'm not on the page because my phone's plugged in uh-huh. but i mean uh somebody i know he commented uh didn't he do energy drinks who uh scott didn't he comment like oh red yeah bull yeah versus- yeah red bull monster and uh what's another one i was trying to see uh, what what was the- uh oh i was gonna say Mon- oh rockstar yeah because it was on the inca trail which i have yet to see i didn't watch that one yet the peru to bolivia I didn't. Yeah, want, yeah, yeah. Dude, I want to see that the, one's like that one's so quick. 
Like they're like like the clips they show. Yeah, are like each one's like a second or two. It just like I felt like that video while I was watching it, mm-hmm. everything just went by really quick. Well, this is like a whole nother series, episode one. Like the thing that matters is doing. He's, yeah, and they, matters is in this. Right, right. He's just on that team. So I mean, they're, yeah, they're, it's just the way it was edited. Mm-hmm. This one was just like, here's a clip, here's a clip, here's a clip. Interesting. They're just there like, was like nothing else with it, and so, I, and I thought there'd be more talking. I guess. Well, probably due again to the pandemic, they're repurposing this one trip into like four or five different series or something. Oh yeah, and I mean maybe that's why it's so like short clip too. Something, and they just got to they got to post something, right? And they're like under contract to post once a week or something silly, you know? I mean, there's gonna be stipulations or at least I'm sure circumstances where that's happening. Yeah, yeah, and like talking about the quarantine thing, like I told you, I'm like tripping on like boards Uh like getting to a point where because like shops aren't um like wood shops aren't open and like distribution like hasn't been open right right like it's gonna get to a point where like boards are dry on the wall oh man so so now i'm just like tripping like i should go to surf and get like two boards (laughs) you should go to uh we we should get a board press and just make our own that's what some pros are gonna end up having to do Oh, and uh, that's a great point too. Uh, Tori Pudwell was on the Stop and Chat. Oh, I'm, and I haven't. He, it's queued up. I haven't heard it yet. About it, that he his his was like out in. I think he said Japan. Uh-oh. Maybe it was China. Yeah. But he said like whatever distribution he was going through, he had to like stop that obviously. And then he like he's just been heat transferring all of them. Wow. I mean, yeah, everything's changing. I'll bet you, you know, uh, I'll bet you Professor Schmidt, man, he's swamped. I'm sure <laughs> he's probably just doing them all himself. Oh, I, I can imagine. <laughs> Crazy. But I mean, some businesses are booming, I would imagine. Yeah, this, maybe you I know. just got a DM, Paul. Yeah, you just order them direct from him. Because PS Stick, I love PS Sticks. That's mm-hmm. what Quasi does. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of brands. But like, Paul, just send me a bunch of blanks. Yeah. I still feel like I'm set for a while. Like I don't, I don't imagine myself not riding the boredom on for a while. Still, like yeah, that Winkowski. No, the only way I can see you having a problem the razor tail now. Yeah, or like I can see you having a problem if like it gets bad enough that like next year is gnarly because you're eventually like. You're eventually. You're probably gonna go a year with that board, right? Oh, uh, easily, easily. Because yeah. I mean, it's coming up on August, so only a few more months, and it'll be a year. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I'll ride and it. it. And it'd be sick to set up a new Winkowski. I'm, for your I'm looking at it right now. Like it's yeah. so cool. It's on my wall right in front of me. It's so awesome looking. The only bummer about it is that it, it's not that power ply, and so it'll probably wear just a bit faster. But I mean, again, I'm not. You know, I'm not clobbering the thing every day of the week. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, but it does catch a little fire once a week at least, man. I got that video, that clip of the sparks coming off my trucks. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah, dude. That was rad. <laughs> Heavy sparks, you said. That's so good. I didn't realize that I, that was the clip from my... You don't really see it that well in the video, but like filming it, I'm like, holy shit. Oh, did you see the clip that I put up though where I zoomed in afterwards in slow-mo? You totally see it. Yeah, you see it. It's just like... My impression of it yeah. compared to the video, it seemed like it went quick. Yeah, yeah. And like me, I'm like, oh, he's freaking firing this thing. <laughs> right. You could probably smell it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I didn't realize is that that's the same clip with my best Ollie onto that Manny pad. Yeah, because that's the clip you sent me. Yeah, but when that's I sent you I that one, it. when I sent you that, I didn't finish watching the clip. I just remembered that that was my best Ollie. And so then when I was going through stuff, I was like, oh, damn, that's cool. But, it's uh, kind of funny because the edit I posted, mm-hmm. it looks like you make that. I know. I saw that too. You cut you it like right off. I cut it <laughs> right when I run off. Yeah, man. man, I can't believe that I didn't try more uh, or I didn't think about doing more of a line all the way through uh, from that bank to the other one. But I mean, that's what I was gonna. I was trying to like really pull that off, but I don't know what ended up happening. I think I just got too tired and then we tried something else, but. Yeah, I think it, it was so damn hot. It was so hot. But was I was like just trying. It was that day. Yeah. Typically, I just ride down that bank on the other side of the room. I come down across the room. I hit the bank with the curb. And, you know, that's my trick. But then one of the only other dudes in the whole building was like, oh, you should ollie on that mani pad. And then I'm like, oh, now all of a sudden you made this whole thing scary. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, but you never, but you'll never back down because I was like, oh, he's gonna get smoked. Yeah. But you never backed down from it. When he came up to you and told you, you like never backed down from a challenge. No, because I was like, you're right. I should do that. That would be much yeah. cooler. And I'm like, and I can definitely ollie up six inches, but it's like ollieing up into a bank because the, it was a mani pad on a bank. So it's, mm-hmm. you know, and I mean, it, it's more steep than the bank. Uh, no, it should be exactly the same. It see ollieing into that. It's just it taller. Feels way more steep than the bank. No, it, I mean technically scientifically it's level with the bank so it's the exact same steepness it's just a little taller it's just yeah you know? I, and i think that was the thing that because i i like i didn't even manny it i like ollied into it twice right I, almost, I think maybe just that lip being up yeah and like it just seems like you're kind of going over and then down that's exactly it so that's what tripped me out because i don't normally do that kind of thing at all and so mm-hmm. I was able, e- I mean, you don't even normally like Ollie into the bank. No, sometimes I'll kind of scoot like a little, just a, a little scoot power slide with the back wheel. Sometimes I'll do that into a bank, but, yeah. but, um, but yeah, so, I mean, I was clear, I, you know, it took a few tries to clear it, but then once I got it, I mean, it was pretty cool because it's alling up and over, but then coming down at that steep angle, it's not even coming down straight. So I don't know. That was new for me. And uh, I thanked that dude. I was like, Hey man, I never would have done that. So thanks. Um, but then I just yeah, couldn't. They were, I couldn't, they were fun to skate with. The, the, the problem was that coming out of that bank is just I couldn't get enough pushes to get a really good, like, fat grind on that curb. Yeah. And or so, it kind of seemed like to me it was too many, pu- or like you were pushing and then having to set your feet up right away. Yeah. I don't even think the setup was it. It's just that two pushes wasn't enough. You yeah. know, I need to pump down that bank and then get one good push, and that's plenty. But yeah. I should have tried a different trick. Like I could have done a no comply tail and then come out. And then I should have gone to the pole jam. And then I should have gone over the gap. <laughs> you know, it's like now in my yeah. mind, I'm like, I got this line. And it's, it's always sick when you get like, when you get a line with one, pu- like one solid push. Yeah. I hate the, the lines I do where I'm like, you get like the two or three little pushes. Right. Yeah. The one solid, like full put your whole leg into it and like your leg comes back. That's the good push. The good push. The good push. <laughs> Get up on the good push. But yeah, man, so many fun tricks that day. Like, so the first time I was there, you know, I was focusing on that gap, trying to go, you know, just grinding over it, rack side, front side. And then I don't know what it, I don't know why I thought of a alley-oop to fakie 50 on it, you know, but I got a little bug in my ear about it. And, uh, dude, that was a fun one to finally work out. I think I'm for looking, a minute, I'm, I thought you were going. I'm looking at it because, right now. Because you went, you went the opposite way you normally do. And I think for a few tries, I thought you were doing backside. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, he's whipping the other way. The other way, though, is way easier. I think if I come up front side and whip it to backside 50, that's way easier for me. And I was like, I don't know. I kind of wanted it to be a little more difficult. And so going, going back. Wait, were you going? You were going front. I was going. I was going at it backside, but then I do a frontside alley oop to bake to to fakey fifty, and then I whip around frontside to tail. So it initially starts backside. Yeah. But yeah. It, all right. I see what you're saying. You know, but if I was, but to go the other way, if I'm coming in frontside and just do a whip to backside fifty, that's so much easier for me. Backside fifty. And, but I didn't even try it. I should have tried it. But uh, yeah. But this one is definitely more difficult because you're really coming. Your, your you're just coming at it backwards. Was to the gap. Right? Oh yeah, I'm just going backwards, blind yeah. over the gap. <laughs> like, yeah. So I mean, it was definitely the harder of the you know two ways to do it. But I man, it was yeah. fun. I wanted to go without going to tail, but man, I just ate it a couple times, and it just that coping is big. And as I try to pivot off. It just kept slipping out or sliding down yeah. or you almost, almost got, you almost got to pop out. You should have tried to pop out. I should have. I know. But it, it took a while for me to finally get comfortable into it, that 50. But, you know, yeah. speaking of that Ruka part, I did watch that thing that you were talking about with Suchu in that weird little sidewalk with the benches that have a half pipe in between them. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like, yeah. Where <laughs> is that, man? I want that. I want to just build that. It looks so the, cool. Oh, wait, wait. Which one are you talking about? The it was, one where he ollies up or the ones that are like transition the transitions the yes. like it's like a little half pipe 
It was so cool. I think it's in Spain. Dude, I loved it. But there was this one trick that he did that I really, really want to try where he goes up to back 50-50 and then whips around to front 5-0. Yeah, front 180 to front 5-0. And then did he revert or did he go in regular? No, then he just went in you know, a regular fifty uh, uh, front, yeah. front side 5-0. But he went up backside 50, but then he pivoted. He just did a pivot, like a kick turn, whatever, like a pivot on his back truck. Yeah, on the, he does like he a went front deck 180, side. but it's more pivoty. Yeah, yeah, he went deck side, you know, so it, I don't know, dude, yeah. it looks so cool to just go uh, 50 to 5 opposite. I was like, man, I, I definitely got to try that. Yeah, yeah, that one looks fun. He's got- I, wonder, I wonder if, like, because I'm not the best at backside 50s, I mm-hmm. wonder if, like, I went front 50. The thing is, like, I would have to go front 50, and then I would have to go back 180 to back 5. Yeah. And that I that I think that would be weird for me. Sure, sure. I mean, there's something about Sucho. I love watching him, but watching what he does, man, I hardly ever feel like it's something I could do. You know what I mean? Whereas some skaters just make me feel like, oh, I could do that. Man, that looks fun. Yeah. I could totally some, just make it look fun. But his stuff is just always like, wow, I'm like it's like I don't know. It's just like you're getting schooled <laughs> with what's possible. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. You know, he definitely pushes the limit. I mean, he he gets me like because I love like the quick feet stuff. Yeah. Oh, I love watching it. I just don't think I could ever do it. Yeah, I think I relate to that because like I think it's so rad that I'm like, oh, that like that's the skating I want to do. Yeah. And I'm de- like, quick feet seems easier than like a Nyjah crook rail. Right. Right. That seems way less scary. See, for me, I see Winkowski. Like, that's how I want to skate. Yeah. And Mark did another thing where he ollies up and there's, like, a gap in between it. And he, he like, ollies up and then, like, backside ollies over it. Do you remember this? Oh, dude, like that's the one. Benches. That's the one I was going to mention to you also because that's another one of those things that he does that – Seems so simple, but my gosh, dude, that's got to be so crazy difficult because he floated that backside ollie over the yeah. whole thing, just perfect. It's one of those like symmetrical tricks too, where I don't know if he did. I don't think he did it front side, but it just looks so perfect. The balance of opposites. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. I mean, I definitely enjoyed it. I loved and Reynolds, I Reynolds' part, Reynolds dude. That was so good with his part. Yeah, and dude. now he's on Vans. Yeah, officially I, on. I saw that. That's really cool too. The whole squad, man, right? Rowan, uh, T Funk, right? T, uh, no, no, no. T Funk's on, uh, in America, right? DC. DC. But it's, uh, but Rowan, Cater. Rowan, Cater. Um, who is the other dude? I could not think of his name the whole time. The dude, uh, who had the first part with the cast. Oh, what was that guy's name? He's on Baker. Too. He got on Baker with Cater. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We had the green. It was, was it the cast was green? Forgettable name. <laughs> All right. It sucks when it's like that. There was a guy, another guy in that Ruka one too that I was like shredding the park, but I was like, I have no idea who you are. Yeah. 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 Rukula is, uh, I <laughs> couldn't even re- I could <laughs> tell you like two or three people. You just said Rukula again. <laughs> oh, man. Arugula. Arugula or Ricola? Like uh, like the doctor? yeah <laughs> yeah, uh, that dude that had the cast yeah. When the part starts, he does a line that reminded me of Ray Barbie. Uh huh. Where he, oh man, I'm trying to remember the line now. I think he like half cabs onto the sidewalk, and then there's like a few tricks, but he ends it with like a simple back 180 and then bombs the hill. Okay. And just like carves the hill and it it gave me like heavy Ray Barbie vibes of just like cruising. Oh, excuse me, I was just drinking beer, but I think I know exactly <laughs> exactly which one you're talking about because he yeah, did I super deal. Like I think it's like one of the first clips. Yeah, but when he's just going down the hill, he made it seem super casual, but it was steep. He was going fast. Yeah, and and he was going switch. Oh, jeez, I didn't even think I realized that. Yeah, because he went like back one eighty off the and the back one eighty off the curb just looks so casual. He was just cruising down. I still like I, I I would love to have a chat with the person that decided to go with the the font for the U in Ruka because the mm-hmm. it, it looks like R V C A because because I remembered 
just before we started recording that you wanted to talk about that episode or that, that you know, that 30 minute video. And so then I go to YouTube and I search Ruka, you know, R-U-C-A just to see and nothing shows up. You got to type in R-V-C-A, yeah. which is not the name I mean, to get the result. Was- rvca until like six years ago right i mean it because it's what it looks like but yeah i'm just saying like you can't even get a single good search result when you search for the actual name <laughs> that's terrible mm-hmm. but yeah i mean they so they like they copyright like it's ruka but it, like they copyrighted like rvca yeah i mean it's a typographical a decision yeah. you know their font that they use that's probably the u so but what it, is the copyright? The V? No. Well, I'm sure it's R U C A, which is the name of the so? company. Or I would, you think it's R V C A? No, I think they're just, the V just looks like a U. I, I think. Mm. Again, I would like to have a chat. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not positive. You need to start stopping chats. Because you can't say Ruka if that's a V, unless the V is silent and it looks like a U. Yeah, and and like again, that's why I thought forever it was R V C A. Right. But how but you, was just, and also, though, I guess I never questioned, like, if it is RVCA, what does that stand for? That's what I'm saying. Like, what is, yeah. what does even RUCA stand for? I mean, that could just be a word. But, man, if you just had a bigger curve on the U and then a, up and then the curve on the A that was similar, like an upside down U, you could have it look like RUCA. Yeah, it would look like the name. Yeah, yeah. it was crazy. I think it might have been you who told me that or like i heard it some maybe yeah. i heard Reynolds no say it we i know that you and i have talked about this before on the show so yeah i can't remember like the first time i heard it it might have been you but like hearing that i'm like what are you talking about yeah but, i like, mean maybe yeah and even like growing up because like you want to feel old <laughs> do you remember pack sun pack sun yeah yeah that store yeah i mean there's probably there's, there's probably still locations some places but like that growing up, I remember like seeing those shirts there, and like even like kids in high school like said RVCA. Huh. It's confusing. Like, I, never, I never heard the name until like later on. I mean, I also grew up in Wisconsin, so right, disadvantaged youth. Yeah, yeah. Take that with a grain of salt. Cause... Well, I don't know. Maybe the answers are out there. Maybe I just got to look at their Wikipedia page. But whatever the case, it seemed confusing. And every time I see their logo, I think of that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, jeez. The part was sick. Oh, absolutely, dude. They, I love uh, I uh, current cables. Another one like a year ago that was something. I thought it was called the same title. Oh, maybe was this part they two? They put out another one that said something. Maybe the opposites of balance. Ooh, that would be cool, actually. I'm. I'm it might have been. I remember like. I'm all for that. I watched the part again today. Yeah. And I remember a part of theirs coming out like a year or so ago, of like similar words. Huh. Maybe that's it, and maybe all the all the guys in the part like the parts were backwards then, like like ordered ordered the opposite. Yeah, and that's probably how the whole logo got screwed. Oh, up. dude, how about uh, Kern Caples with that one line he did when he he ollied into that blue bowl and then did like three or four tricks and then board slid around the stairs? Do you remember that one? Oh yes, dude, dude. he ollied almost into the waterfall. Like yes. that was gnarly, man. To get enough speed from landing to just carve that bowl, that was sick. I love that also, one. Also, like seeing Curran skate bowls, so good. And then seeing like somebody, like how much respect I have for Reynolds. Yeah. But then seeing Curran just like, oh holy shit, this <laughs> is like so effortlessly, so high, so smooth. He, just, he makes it look so, like seeing two pros that like one like oh that's like my favorite pro that he's so good and then seeing like current cables like skate the ball with them just flow but i mean just he'll flow. he'll go he'll go join and win a surfing contest too though yeah yeah for sure there was one thing that stood out to me with reynolds there was this one part where he w- w- ollied up onto a ledge that had like gaps and so he had to keep ollieing these little gaps on the same ledge do you remember that yeah so there was something about his ollie that it was just like every single time he landed it, it was back to front, like to do like the the back wheels hit and then the front wheels, like super casual, but like not all four at the same time, but mm-hmm. like all of them were exactly the same. It was just like a little hop, da-doom, hop, da-doom. you know, it was just so casual. But man, I don't know for some reason though that little bit of an ollie just stood out to me. Yeah, oh, that's funny that that stuck. I think the Reynolds one that stuck out to me was 
when Reynolds, like that kid. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, Reynolds, you're my favorite skater. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one for you. Yeah, yeah, that's so sick. And then he does, man. And that line, dude, what was that? He just like hopping fences into the abyss. That was cool. Holy shit, Jeez. it's incredible. Like, because he also put out a uh, Instagram clip for bands, uh-huh. like saying like I'm on, right? And he did a backside flip over a standing trash can. Yeah. That's insane. And he's like, isn't he 37? How old is he? Is he isn't he like close to 40? Young buck. Jeez. <laughs> but god <laughs> damn, to get that much pop. So good. That, and that back 180 over the fence in that line. Yeah, so good. So sick. That oh. line and then the other line where he back threes, which I like I thought about you. I think it's like a three stair or a four stair, but he like back threes it to start a line. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool to like. Years ago, Reynolds would never do that. If you, you know, th- what I mean, you would never throw that in a part. If it reminded you like, of, if it reminded you of me, it had to have been a three stair. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's no way it was a four. <laughs> but yeah. that's so sick. Yeah. And like, there's uh, the last clip of Reynolds. You can hear Beagle. Yes, that he got he's it. like the boss man got one, or he got another yeah, one. He said he got so another one. Sick. That was good. Like, how they've been working together for so long. Oh, so long. That's so sick. The company Christmas parties must be crazy. <laughs> not this year, but yeah, yeah they must. Be. <laughs> yeah, not this year, dude. I can't believe that we did not open this episode with your double hippie jump. Oh yeah, dude. dude! What's up with that? That was badass. Two rails. Thank God. What were those like? That I don't know, was... four to five foot apart. How far was that? that was Honestly, a... just because. Okay, all together, the day I think like all the tricks I landed. Yeah, I think were like ten tries all together. I know you were on fire and fuego. So, the, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so the hippie jump took like three or four tries. I thought about moving the like doing it again and moving the rail even further. Ooh, really? You probably could have cleared it. Probably, but I was at that point. I was like, just keep this party going. So, so I was filming on the other side for your first three or four attempts, and then I was like, man, no, I got to go on the other side because I wanted to see. You know, I'm like, it's like the front side of you, and uh, uh, and I don't know the angle was perfect. But as soon as I moved to that side, dude, you got it that one go, and it was just perfect. That was- yeah, that was the one go. And then the one up on the Manning Pad 2 was first try. First try. I think you tried um, one before I filmed, and then I came up with the camera, and then you got it. Yeah, yeah, the one I, yeah. Um, and the hippie jump, too, we, that was kind of a co- collab, like, you going to the other side and me saying to, like, film under it. Yeah, that worked out great. Yeah, that got the best angle. Yeah, that. I agree. That looks yeah, really I was, cool. I'm maybe, I'll say it, damn, I'll say it favorite trick of 2020 oh look at you i was hyped on that i'm like that looks sick the only thing i wish is if i had the tripod on it at the same time yeah and maybe like uh on the other side yeah exactly yeah but yeah i hadn't even i haven't even i hadn't even taken that camera out of the bag yet we were just doing the the fish eye so far yeah dude yeah that was fun you you talked about in the beginning like we were gonna do a lot of follow along with the fish eye right right but i i felt like Again, we were having so much fun that, like, <laughs> there are times where I'm like, let's just skate around. Yeah, I know, but that's, I'm just glad I set the tripod up to capture that because, I mean, some of those things, we board slides on the curb. Uh huh. Yeah, that was super fun. That was fun, man. I had a really good time. I love that. That option island's really fun. I agree. You can do a bunch of different stuff. I agree, man. There's so many more things that I want to do on it. Like, I still think that I should be able to do a no comply tail over that thing or even just a uh-huh. front, even just a front tail. Uh huh. And I, I think so too. I think you got that. Wax up that tail and just go for it. Yeah, dude. That'd be fun as hell. Even just a front tail would be pretty badass. Yeah, or the I, the no comply tail would be pretty badass. It would. They both would be. Now I didn't actually. I stopped trying. Actually, that's what happened. Here, actually, in my mind, I know exactly what happened. So I was trying that, to do. I was trying to go for a backside ollie over that gap as you were trying your front side ollie, and. You were trying from the bottom, working your way up, and I was just going to go for the top. I just wanted to clear it. I figured if I went up to the top, it'd be less of a gap. And um, I think I tried two of them, but they were super weak. 
And then I was like, oh, what if I could just ride on the tiles, you know? And so yeah. I, I did a grind that way. I mean, I went under the coping, so I just rode the tile. And then I tried it front side. No, then I did another backside. And then it was at that point that I did the alley-oop. And then I forgot all about the backside ollie. So I want to go back and do a backside ollie over that. <laughs> at least attempt it. I want to just go fast and pop as high as I can to see how far I can go. I'm so down to go back. Yeah. Let's go right, I think, let's go I think right, now. right now. Can we I, end this I, session and go? This this episode? Let's go right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Call, let's hit up Bill. Yeah, call Bill. See where he hides the key. <laughs> can we get in now? I should have just uh, I, I should have rigged I, a I string feel to like that. I'm kind of parked out. Oh man. I I don't think I'll ever get parked out in my old age. Yeah. May, well, maybe maybe just for the weekend. I'm kind of feeling like filming street again. I guess that's what I'm saying. Mm. I no, I, that, I understand. I got that mindset. I understand. I just figure, like, it's such a different vibe for me to show up at a park than when I first t- kind of got back into skateboarding. And, like, I was always a little nervous, didn't know what to do. Now I just kind of yeah, find now, it, now I just find a spot and charge it. Yeah, for sure. And I, and I think, like, Oshkosh has kind of, bit like, become your park. Yeah, I like that place. I mean, there's so many things that I like to still do there. Like just watching you do that, that little front side, uh, that front Smith on that little ledge. I was like, man, it's a little bank to ledge. Like spend all day on that thing. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, I like that comment. You said like, it's like so many, you can skate that in so many different ways. So many different ways. Yeah. That park is so cool. And like, it's crazy. Cause like what it used to look like, I don't know if you've ever seen like the old footage of it. Um, I think I might have seen some. Just like what, like the banks were rounded, mm-hmm. and it it just looked like super. Cr- I guess it looked like heavy, like eighties, nineties vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like old, like schoolyards. I just figure as I get better, I should be able to like hit that big bank to bank with the mani pad up top, and like maybe do a board slide or maybe ollie up to a fifty. You know what I mean? At, at some point, I should be able to like just keep stepping it up, and that park has got so many things that I can step up to. Yeah, for sure. I wish I I think everyone wishes the eight stair was a little better. Yeah, that's really um, that's a steep set. Yeah, it, it's super steep and the rail's super steep, but yeah. like everything else is built like perfectly. I kind of want to learn. Uh, just makes soup and like built like you can step it up. Like oh, I'm gonna hit this part or I'm gonna hit this part. Yeah, I kind of want to learn front nose slide, just because it seems like even on steep sets, if there's a hubba like. You can just go wait, down. Wait, wait, wait. Front nose or back nose? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be back. Back, back nose. Back nose, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do too, dude. Because it just seems like you could just slide down a whole hubba and be like, I just did a 20 stair. <laughs> yes, dude. It would be so, and like, and curbs. No sliding curbs would be so fun. It would be, yeah. I just always forget. I get wrapped up in something else and I don't even think of trying. Yeah. You, we got to skate Oshkosh again with Ty Mm -hmm. because the last time I skated with him, he was like going through it with me of like, this is how I learned no slides. And like, this is how, and now he like, dude, he can, he can no slide shove really every time. That's cool. I wonder, uh, I wonder how good my nose would be, uh, you know, with it being smaller. Oh, pretty bad. (laughs) Yeah. But I gotta, I gotta (laughs) do it. I'll do it though. I'll, yeah. I'm, up, I'm up for the challenge. That's funny, too. In that uh, Sap and Chat, Tori, uh-huh. he talked about, remember that back tail he did where it's a curved ledge and it's a grass gap and yeah. he did two of them? The super long one? Super long one, yeah. 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 He talks about that. And he talks about he went to a van store mm-hmm. and picked up an anti-hero board and got like got like fat trucks, fat wheels, oh really? Or fat board, <laughs> yeah. And then he used he slid on the nose to because it's like a regular popsicle board. The nose is bigger. Mm-hmm. There's like more area. Definitely the opposite of your board, right? Uh, so he yeah he like slid on the nose and he got the biggest board he's ever gotten. Wild, yeah. I guess I didn't even notice that, but that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of because he said he said too like you know you just want to be like con- like you want to be confident you're gonna get on it. You'd think that he would just go get an Everslick. That's that's the first thing Rob's asked him. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, he's like, was it an Everslick? <laughs> like kind of talked about like 
it's funny he just like went to a sh- like he just set up a new he he said he just brought a piece of grip to the spot oh, yeah. crazy is that the, is that like, the same like, oh, i'll get a board and then we'll do it isn't that the same ledge that matters just did his handstand off of no that's a different one that's similar though right similar yeah and then the, i i i think be- between those two even there's another one in a schoolyard that because the one matters did it's kind of car it's kind of curved yeah um there's one a long straight one and i think it might be at that same school but there's a long straight one that uh tiago backtailed right wasn't it a switch a switch, switch, switch yeah one. switch backtail yeah and that's like a straight long one yeah that's the there's one like, that's the one like three huge long ones okay maybe i'm confusing that that's not the same one that that tiago was on either those are all different rails or ledges one, uh ledges yeah the one All, um the one tiago was on is that not the same one that matters did the handstand no 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 those are different they're all different okay yeah they just yeah, yeah all three of them the one tori did is yeah that one now that i remember that's like uh that's a totally different scenario that's yeah, like a i think really... that one might even be on the water or something yeah because he kicked the board into the water when he was done Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, it's that's so long. That's such I think a, he such said a it in the run. stop and check. I think he said twenty-two. I forgot what he said. Crazy. How long it was? Yeah, I got that queued up. I'll probably end up hearing that later tonight. Yeah, but that 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 was fucked up. So I saw that you posted that uh, Jaws part from Happy Medium. Yeah, I was yeah, think- that I, just came out with uh, Josh Hawkins. Yeah, I saw you post that thing, and that maybe you wanted to talk about that. So I watched that also before you called. <laughs> Yeah, that was a sick part. Now, I might be confusing it because I just watched the Ruka part and the Happy Medium part. Which one of those had that hippie jump tray flip in the water? Hippie jump. There was some. Well, I, I thought it was the Happy Medium one, but maybe it was the Ruka. But it was like in a. It was looked like it was raining, like he was in a puddle, and he did a tray flip hippie jump over a caution tape. Oh man, I don't no. remember this at all. Oh, I think it's gotta be. I didn't watch the Ruka part. I I watched the whole thing, and then today I watched it again. I think it's I, the. I think it's the Happy Medium. I'm going really? through. I'm going through the thumbnail right now just this just to make sure because I could have um, swore it was. But that was mostly Jaws, so maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it was mostly Jaws, and then uh, that Josh Hawkins, he had a few clips in it. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe it was the Josh Hawkins, but I'm skimming through, and I'm not seeing it in the Jaws one. So I guess it had to have been the Ruka. Did you, you didn't watch the um, Happy Medium. They uh, they put out a different guy's part, too. You didn't watch that one, did you? No, I only saw the one that you posted today. Okay, okay. I'm like, maybe you're getting confused with that one. No, no, because I know I definitely just watched two parts. And it, so it's either in Ruka or it's in, it has to be, because I'm, I'm not seeing it in the thumbnails here as I scroll through. But I just yeah. thought, yeah. I, I just it remember it. Ruka because I didn't finish the whole thing today. Yeah. When I watched it again. And I don't remember, and I watched uh, the Happy Medium part today. Yeah. Well, it was just a good hippie jump. Yeah. In water. Yeah, it was crazy, you would, dude. You would think a like hippie an, jump, I'd, I, have that on my brain because i'm oh you know what it definitely is um in the jaws one because i remember thinking oh puddle jumper and as soon as in my mind i know jaws was at a park so it, it's definitely that one mm. i'm going through it again it's definitely well, I'll, have to, I'll have to watch that one again then. yeah because now i want to find out what part maybe i can just let this play on mute and uh see if i can get it to go and then I'll, maybe I'll, I'll see video. it in the background here while we, while we finish talking here. But uh, yeah, for sure, we'll finish up. Oh man, now I'm no, now I'm just desperate to find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, while you're doing that, I will give a shout out. Yeah, Dave Witt, dude, Dave Witt, congratulations. He two got two time pro, two time. He got on surfing surfing bird board, and now he's on scarred skateboards. Yeah, nice. He's been, and he's been riding those for a few years. But, uh, yeah, f- went pro for him. That's awesome, man. Super sick. When was the last time you had a chance to skate with him? Oh, man. Fuck, dude. Uh, oh, man. I, I, see him always at, I see him always at the park, you know, hitting people up. Like, who's down? I'm here by myself again. Yeah, yeah he's always down. And, like, 
during quarantine because he just got a new place. Uh huh. He's got like a bunch of area next to his house where he brought a box out. Okay. Uh, so he's been doing like a bunch of that. Man, probably. Oh man! Oh, I found it, probably dude. Not since like November or December. I found it. Hang on. Oh, really? It's Josh Hawkins. It's at 327 it starts. He starts in the water, and it's a back big spin over caution tape. 327. That's your mark. Okay. Okay. Because I was like, oh, dude, that's why. I thought maybe that was like another reason why you had posted it, because it's got a killer hippie jump in it. Uh-huh. I think I was just – I – I might have even posted it before I even watched it. Oh, I've done that plenty. Sometimes I'll see something and I'll start watching it and I'll post it quick and then I'll go yeah. back and watch it or maybe forget. But I know what you mean. Sometimes you could just, I mean, sometimes you know, right? Just remember 3, but, 327. Okay, 327. If I get a part from somebody, I can just post it, like that Mason part. Yeah. I'm like, this is going to be fire. Right. Like, how could it not be? That guy's a beast. How could it not be good? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Joe likes to, Joe's a tag for the show. And like when we do, when we eat snacks. Yeah. There's no way it can't be good. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the, there's a lot of parts that like, oh, this is going to be great. Exactly. I'm ex- Oh, which is another good point. Mm. Man ramp and fancy lad. Oh, that's coming out this week, right? This Friday, dude. That's, that's going to be good that's gonna be amazing like what if they made like crazy like pop out ramps for man ramp to hold oh my dude i can't even <laughs> imagine what they've thought of oh, those man. two people together yeah they, they could either burn the world down or save it that's gonna be so fun oh shoot i just hit my mic that's just, gonna be so good dude. that reminds me i'm grabbing out my thrasher here i was listening to um rick on the no mongo show and he's talking about the skateboarders in love article which i didn't fully get to in this in this um magazine yeah but apparently man ramp is in here with his girlfriend and it says his real name so i was like oh that's cool so you got a little background on man ramp oh that's sick in and skateboarders. She skates too? yeah they're skaters okay i think okay is it because i see. think i think um uh Steve Mole, that that dude on Warble that like skates man ramp shit. The moles, there's, a, there's like three skates too. There's like three moles, you know. They're yeah, like they're brothers. Steve Mole, Dave I always thought that man ramp himself was one of the moles, but I guess not. I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. I think he's just a friend of theirs. I'm trying to find. We got Nora. She's in this one. Yep. Um. Oh, now I don't. Which see. Is, you heard that story of her boyfriend. Yeah, uh, yeah. Skating that wave. Yeah. Or skating that wave, surfing that wave. That's fucking gnarly. Yeah, the, the Jaws wave. Yeah, the Jaws. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking. Is this one? I've is always, it Alex? I've always said skateboarding is the most tame out of all the extremes. Surfing and maybe not snowboarding. Dude, surfing. Know, snowboarding surfing, can go really fucking high. Surfing is gnarly, though, dude. Surfing is so gnarly. So gnarly. Every single skating, wave is different. Skating is the weak one. Yeah, right? No, sco- Surfing, scooters. Moto- uh, <laughs> motocross, so fucking gnarly. Absolutely. Motocross, you can die. Surfing, you can die. Skateboarding, Surfing, you can die. Skateboarding, you can die. Eh, it's less. Man, you you could easily smack your head. You you could, but surfing, I don't know if I'll ever surf in my life. Wait, that the, sounds so intimidating. Yeah, I've only surfed like like baby step surfs. Like when you were learning that ollie over the gap. At the bottom, yeah. At the, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about the it. the first two. That's my surfing. <laughs> yeah, I've been on Just a couple of decent waves. Wave. Yeah, but I like that clip of like the progress of you going up, like stepping it up, stepping up, stepping up. Uh huh. I thought that came. Well, out I cool. hate, for me, I hate seeing that because I just I want to just just blast. Even- yeah, I just wanted. I just want to do and like the one I landed. I'm not too happy with. Oh man, there were like, the last I two were good. Have, I should have went off transition. Yeah, but you know, that's just, it's good room for growth for next time. Yeah. Yeah, I got to step it up even more. Got to step it up. We only had two and a half hours. I know. We had to like kind of, we had, and we had to cram the whole place. You didn't even get to skate that little metal wedge thing. Mm mm. Yeah, I think I rolled up on it and that was about it. We didn't even try that other new wall ride where they curved the bottom. Like, I wonder how that works. And we didn't skate the new hip. Didn't skate the hip, didn't skate that mm-hmm. new vert wall, didn't skate the new bank, didn't go in the bowl. I mean, 
that place has got so many things to skate two and a half hours and my old body can't, you know, it's, it's we got to go back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. All right. Well, I'm yeah, like, maybe I'm not parked out. All right. I'm down. Yeah, dude. Don't tell me you're parked out. That place is so, <laughs> that place is super fun, especially private session, man. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. And, and honestly, like, I want to keep skating and hit everything, but mm-hmm. like two hours is a perfect amount of time. It really was, dude, because you get spent. You know, would be would be cool if it was like, I don't know, maybe you took like an hour off to go get a bite to eat and then came back for another two hours. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, but, mm. but that's that's that's, that's, that's that. also me daydreaming and hoping that first session I didn't get hurt. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> or just hoping that like. I mean, we'll get to a point where we can just skate there all day. Someday. someday. Like Carter. Yeah. I'll be like Carter. Yeah. Oh, for sure. We just need more hours. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, dude, it, we just hours. we just crossed the hour mark. I think that's plenty. Oh, shit. Yeah. Didn't even notice. All right. The last thing I wanted to bring up real quick, hmm. that uh, bowl you posted, speaking of bowls. Was oh, that beautiful or what? Yeah. You said it looks fun. That still looks gnarly to me. Ah, oh, that looks so fun to me with the pool coping. That still, that still metal. looks like what? Six feet? Yeah, maybe six foot, but it's like, I don't know. They made it look super easy and fun. I, yeah. d- I just liked all the different transition, the metal coping, the hips. I mean, I want to skate like they did it, but it just looked fun. Yeah. I like the, the, I the, like the inside the, of it, that yellow like tile. Yeah, I'm not beautiful. sure if that's tile or did they paint it like that? Or, I don't know, man. The construction is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's rad. And that the the thumbnail, that guy with a stale fish, blasting. Oh yeah, dude. So good. Where where is that? Uh, I think it's in Amsterdam. This that's the uh, Rotterdam. Um, yeah, that's that the flat spot. flat spot guys. Yeah, even yeah. that one guy. It looks like the the pool coping has got a ledge to it. That one guy did a ollie bonk nose bonk in. You remember yeah. that? Crazy. Well, one dude back fifty to back fifty. Yes, that was cool. Yeah. Very yeah, cool. so still, no, I, I I wanted to bring that up just because you said like looks fun, and I'm like, oh, I gotta watch this because like the thumbnail. Yeah, I thought it was like a three or four footer. No, it's and it's, then I'm like, well, <laughs> fuck, this is still huge. <laughs> no, it's it's pretty big, but like when you're at a spot that's just the bowl, then that's what you skate, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's true. So you I gotta, think you I, gotta get in where you fit it. That would be fun, dude. I'd be down to give that a try for sure. Yeah. I'd be down to go to Amsterdam. Oh hell yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. That's where uh, that's, <laughs> that's where what we'll do tonight. <laughs> that's where my my boss lives, man. So I'm sure I'll be heading out there at some point. I mean, at some point, when they let Americans travel to other countries, yeah. At some <laughs> at some point, cream will open and at some we'll point, be able to travel to Amsterdam. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, dude. I'm gonna check out the pool cafe. <laughs> well, hell yeah, dog. Yeah, man. Always fun, dude. Thanks for uh, doing the show. Um, hell yeah! You can Thanks find to us. everyone listening. Hell yeah! Shout outs to all you listening. Uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, that's right. smash the like button. Put on the notifications. <laughs> DM me yeah. your clips. Don't at me. Just add Aaron. Yeah, that's fine. I could use a few more. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, skatosis.com is where the mothership is. We're all part of under the old dude skate co umbrella, corporate umbrella. The overlords rule the show. Overlords. And um, Corporate America. All they they just want us to skate and stack clips, and so that's yep. that's our mission. And we're just getting yep. we're getting sick doing it. Sick. Yeah, we're getting fucking wrecked. Wrecked. <laughs> well, killer dude, always a good time. Love skating with you. Love chatting about skateboarding with you. Can't wait to do it all again. Can't wait, dog. All right, man. Peace out. Love you, bro. Love you, dog. Talk Bye. to you later. Bye. Old dude, skate co.